Dr. Schneider, for those of you who weren't, uh, couldn't take part at your uh, lecture, can you introduce your lecture in a couple of words? Yeah, um, my lecture is dealing with immediate loading. Mm -hmm. I'm lecturing about immediate loading for almost 10 years. And the lecture was concentrated mainly about how to preserve uh, the hard and soft tissue, the bone and the gums around the implants for the long term, in these cases of full arch immediate loading of the maxilla. And uh, the lecture is uh, built in stages from the beginning and it's developing, so I think that everyone can learn from it something, not just coming to show cases, but really to teach how to do it correctly uh, based on experience of uh, more than 1,000 implants with immediate loading, with follow-up of more than three years, and a lot of evidence-based literature, uh, which is updated to the recent years. That's it. So for which patient would you recommend immediate loading? Uh, in all the cases of full arch today, mm -hmm. I'm doing immediate loading. Uh, and all the cases uh, which I'm placing implants in the anterior areas, mm -hmm. all of them today are with immediate loading. So it depends on what the patient needs, but in all the cases which involve aesthetics, anterior areas and full arches, mm -hmm. I recommend to do immediate loading. And uh, so you have uh, cases for three years. How long are you doing immediate loading for? Uh, I started yeah. doing immediate loadings about uh, 12 years ago. I right. uh, started only with full arches, and today I'm doing it also in partial arches, but mainly in anterior areas. Hopefully the next stage will be also posterior areas. I'm not mm -hmm. sure yet, but we'll start doing it. Are you doing some research at the posterior area part? Uh, I want to do it. I still didn't uh, start with it because I'm still trying to build um, some protocols. But uh, yes, this is the next stage. Uh, where do you see the future of implant dentistry? Uh, I believe that the future <coughs> is very depending on the bone materials because mm -hmm. the implants are very good. They have very good success uh, rates, so I don't think we have any problems with them. Uh, I believe the only problem that we do have is that we don't have good enough bone substitutes mm -hmm. and uh, all the procedures of bone augmentations are not good enough, are not predictable enough. So I believe the future is in uh, maybe developing a very good bone substitute which is based on genetics like uh, human recombinant uh, BMPs, mm -hmm. bone morphogenic proteins, which allow us to use a better bone. And this will really improve our opportunities to place implants for patients. So I believe this is the future.